Don Edwards back here at the east side. At the east side, center east Peoria, Illinois. A five set thriller between UND and McHenry. UND pulls out the win. Joining me now is head coach Jason Reed. And coach, congratulations on a, on a victory. It looks like you were sweating a little bit down there. Thank you. Yeah, I got plenty of cardio in in that match. I was jumping up and down, hippity dipping all over the place. Your team, uh, maybe not as its best attack performance you talked about it yesterday you need, always need to go over that next column but talk about the match you got tonight from Shelby Ruffner Shelby played great tonight I, she was all over the block was all over the blocks um, she offensively was was really good and and you know I, she could have been even better in those third and fourth sets we were out of system a ton we couldn't get her the ball to the ball uh, you know kudos to McKendry for, for really doing that to us but yeah she was incredible tonight and, and we uh, we owe her a lot tonight she had a great night she had a great attack night but she also had 10 blocks for you as well well yeah we want that every night that was uh, that was incredible but she's uh, she's had some matches this year where she's really just dialed in and, and today was one of them and there really wasn't much that she could do wrong hitting 522 with with 13 kills and scoring 18 points 10 blocks man we'll take it that's a heck of a night you go up two sets nothing you go to the intermission what was the message to your group very group a very young group that you talked about yesterday yeah so we we talked about kind of forgetting about those two sets and maybe just coming back out and, and starting over and starting fresh and 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 like i said i think mckendry came out and they really did a much better job they served a lot better our, our passing just went away and and so our offense became very predictable and and they touched a lot they touched a lot of balls on the block, and then they transitioned back, and they were the more aggressive team. So the message wasn't received, or, or maybe it was, but it wasn't until the fifth set. But we shipped some real grit there at the end to, to be able to hang on. Talk about going into the fifth set. Now you're tied 2-2, two, two, and you have a young group. How do, they, how do you get them to keep their composure going into that fifth set? Yeah, I'm not going to take any. I'm not going to take any credit for that at all. Our senior leadership was exceptional. I didn't even get to the huddle, and, and Haley Brown and, and – um, Natalie was sure, and, and Haley and uh, I'm sorry, Hannah and, and Jamie all kind of spoke their piece and said, "We're not losing. Okay, you sell out. This is our match. We've we've gone through so much this year in terms of injuries and, and our preseason and just the record and everything else. And, and and they kind of decided on their own. And and I think that that was the big key. I, it wasn't me. It was them. They did a great job. You talked about yesterday that your group has been playing its best volleyball over its last ten matches. Did you think you would get this far this weekend when you were at where when you, where you were compared to the middle of the season? I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could say that there was never a doubt in my mind the entire season. But with all the ups and downs, I, I, I at times questioned it. To be completely honest, but I remember plenty of times over the course of the early se seasons saying, "Man, you guys are going to be fun to work with in November and November," and and that's becoming true. And and we know that that it's going to click at some point with our with our young group. And I I just didn't know, and I don't think anybody knows whether it's going to be this year or two weekends ago or, or next year or when the juniors that you, you just don't know the development but it's starting to come together and it's starting to click and they showed some real grit today coach congratulations we'll see you tomorrow 12 o'clock tomorrow 12 o'clock thank you much head coach jason reed from the und greyhounds will step aside we'll come back with some final numbers you're watching the 2015 glvc women's volleyball championships on the glvc sports network where champions are crowned